Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, SpaceX contracts manned flights to the International Space Station. Bad Elf turns to Kickstarter to develop an ADSB in app. A Technam P2012 progress report. I'm Bree Cross, it's November 23rd, 2015, and this is Airborne Unlimited. NASA took a significant step last week with its first mission order from SpaceX to launch astronauts from a U.S. launch base to the International Space Station. This is the second in a series of four guaranteed orders NASA will make under the Commercial Crew Transportation Capability Contracts. The Boeing company received its first crew mission order in May. Kathy Luters, manager of NASA's Commercial Crew Program, said, quote, It's really exciting to see SpaceX and Boeing with hardware in flow for their first crew rotation missions. It is important to have at least two healthy and robust capabilities from U.S. companies to deliver crew and critical scientific experiments from American soil to the space station throughout its lifespan, end quote. Commercial crew missions to the space station on the Boeing CST-100 Starliner and SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft will restore America's human spaceflight capabilities. Gwen Shotwell, president and CEO of SpaceX, said in part, quote, The authority to proceed with Dragon's first operational crew mission is a significant milestone in the commercial crew program and a great source of pride for the entire SpaceX team, end quote. Bad Elf has launched a Kickstarter campaign seeking backing for an ADSB receiver that would make free weather and traffic information available on iOS devices. In 2010, Bad Elf brought aviation grade GPS to the iPad. Now they are announcing what they call the first affordable ADSB weather and traffic receiver with universal app compatibility. They are also planning to offer a model that includes AHARS capabilities. The company says the goal with the Bad Elf ADSB receiver is to have seamless integration with your favorite apps, but without the lock-in of vertical solution. They say they're taking a fresh approach to their receiver. Bad Elf has set an ambitious goal of $500,000 for development of the system. As of last Friday, the company had raised just over $56,500. As a reminder, an ADSB receiver, also referred to as ADSBN, is not connected to the 2020 mandate for ADSB out capabilities. After the break, Cape Air checks in on Technam P2012 progress. AML's patent-pending wireless induction charging system eliminates confusion over those charging cables, cuts down cockpit cable clutter, and allows you and your passengers to fly cordless and eliminate the cable nightmare. www.aviationmodificationleaders.com the KSN 770 is an affordable, WAS-enabled, integrated MFD with a flexible hybrid user interface from Bendix King. Get your fingers on the 770's perfect blend of touchscreen and hard buttons. Easily control your GPS navigation, navcom, weather, traffic, and terrain in any condition. For more information, go to BendixKing.com. Concord's recombinant gas RG series sealed battery technology produces a high performance battery with the advantages of being pre-tested and fully charged at the factory. Find out more about Concord's entire line of batteries at www.concordbattery.com. Concord, the heart of your aircraft. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. If you would like to be a supporter of Airborne Unlimited, send an email to jim at aero-news.net. TechNam announced that at a joint production development meeting held last week with Cape Air, they discuss milestone dates for the P-2012 Traveler. Its rollout is scheduled in February, and the first flight is planned for June 2016. Key members of Cape Air's leadership team visited Technam's Capua Italy assembly facility and were said to be delighted with the progress Technam has made in the production of the P-2012 test aircraft. Fully assembled P-2012 Traveler serial number 003 is now complete with both its Lycoming engines installed and it is undergoing extensive testing of its fuselage, wing, and empennages. The joint Technam and Cape Air P-2012 Traveler development team both chose and froze 
The avionics suite, consisting of two Garmin 10-inch primary flight displays and one Garmin 12-inch multifunction display. The Technam P2012 Traveler is an 11-seat, next-generation piston engine twin designed to comply with both FAR Part 23 and EASA CS23 certification regulations. Each week, we share with you an online video that one of our viewers found especially entertaining. We call it our Aero Video of the Week. Final lift off of this video is stock footage taken during World War II of F-6F Hellcats and F-4U Corsairs landing on an aircraft carrier after actual combat missions. It speaks volumes for the young men that flew these aircraft. Search F-6F Hellcat and F-4U Corsair on Aircraft Carrier on YouTube. After these messages, Cessna M2 Citation sales are solid. Now certified, Aspen Avionics single band ADS-B, ATX-100 and ATX-100G transceivers are the next-gen ADS-B solution that provides the features pilots need while keeping flyaway costs low. Check it out now at AspenAvionics.com. Redbird Flight Simulations is dedicated to revolutionizing flight training by designing, manufacturing, and delivering affordable and innovative flight training technologies. Each Redbird device is designed to enhance the training experience for pilots of all levels, from student to ATP. Redbird is quickly becoming the industry standard for flight training. Since Redbird introduced its revolutionary FMX in 2007, colleges, universities, and flight training operations around the world have integrated Redbird products into their curriculum. It's time to discover what Redbird can do for you. Join the migration. Sandia introduces the new SAI 340 Quattro TSO'd airspeed, attitude, altitude, and slip. With integral backup battery, safety never looked so good. See it now at www.sandia.aero. Welcome back. With so much news coming out of the aviation industry, we're summarizing some other interesting stories in a brief segment we call Around the Patch. Cessna announced at MBAA that it recently rolled out its 100th Cessna Citation M2 business jet from its factory less than two years after gaining initial FAA certification. The milestone aircraft is scheduled to be delivered next month. The Gulfstream G650ER recently added another city pair record to its list, this time linking Dubai to New York City. It flew the 6,159 nautical mile trip in 13 hours and 10 minutes at an average cruise speed in excess of Mach 0.87. Honeywell is offering new software upgrades for their Primus Epic cockpit system. According to Honeywell, the new capabilities will help pilots better avoid collision and extreme weather and allow them to make faster decisions for safer and more efficient flights. Bendix King has announced that Sabreliner Aviation will be the launch partner supporting the company's new AeroView integrated flight deck offering for the Citation product line. Sabreliner Aviation will perform AeroView certifications, installations, and provide support from their location in Perryville, Missouri. Hartzell Propellers, new turbine propellers, give owners and operators of many Beechcraft King Airs an opportunity to upgrade their performance. Hartzell's new four-blade aluminum and five-blade structural composite props will be available in early 2016 for the King Air Model 350 fleet. Well, that's our trip around the patch. Now let's move on to the rest of the news. The Honda Aircraft Company announced at MBAA 2015 that it has completed all function and reliability test conditions for the Honda Jet. Function and reliability testing simulates typical in-service flight operations for a new aircraft design. Testing includes takeoffs, landings, system operations, failure cases, approaches, and operations in hot, cold, and humid environments. The Honda Jet has flown missions to 54 airports in 31 states in the continental United States as a part of function and reliability testing. In October, Honda Aircraft completed all Part 23 certification flight testing. The flight test program has exceeded 3,000 total flight hours, and testing was conducted at more than 70 locations in the U.S. 
Honda Aircraft Company President and CEO Michimasa Fujino said, quote, Honda Aircraft is not only bringing new value to the market with a Honda Jet, but also a higher standard for aircraft ownership. Together with the Honda Jet dealer network, we have built the infrastructure to deliver on our objective, and we are now ready for entry into service, end quote. Well, that's our program for today. Remember to get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. Remember that Airborne Unlimited is streamed daily Monday through Friday with additional breaking news bulletins for important stories that fall outside of our normal deadlines. Please join us and a growing roster of over 100 outstanding industry associations and organizations every weekday for the best in aviation and aerospace news from the staff of the Aero News Network, the aviation world's most comprehensive news and information resource.